I was working out in a gym and um, the owner of the gym, his wife came to me and said, you know, I'm starting yoga classes. Please come and try. And I went along and really, really enjoyed it. I had a balletic background, so my body was naturally supple. So doing the yoga asana was really, really easy and I felt very comfortable doing it. I felt very liberated immediately. Somebody visited me one day and said to me, I want to take you to Many Finger Studio. And I went along, not really expecting too much. And I met, my blessing, I met my guru. To have a guru in modern times is, it's an absolute blessing. The yogas followed me throughout my whole life and I feel very blessed um, to have had such an amazing introduction, um, to be born into it um, and to have it as my foundation. Yoga is, the, is, a, is an art, it's a practice. It means um, unifying the, the, the mind, the body and the soul. I opened up this studio and it was early 2000s, so it was about 2001, somewhere around there, and it, there was this whole awakening into yoga. So we were just jam-packed. We had to close the gates at night. No more, no more, can't fit any more in. Everybody wanted to practice yoga. Um, my teacher started in the 60s, um, so I kind of took over from him. We have a beautiful yoga lineage, and um, that is how it started. What I do most of the time is yoga and meditation. So when I walked in here, it was just awesome. And Wendy and Angela are amazing. I think the difference between practicing yoga and um, being a yogi is you know, when you practice yoga, it's, it's almost something that you can leave behind when you walk away from a studio. But when you become a yogi, you make yoga part of every part of your life. You know, you have, um, your whole life becomes yoga. Every moment you can experience yoga because yoga is that unity, that connection, that deep connection. So you can experience that whether you're on the mat or off the mat, but, you know, when you find that a lot of students who are just coming in and out of classes, they're doing it for health benefits. But the more it solidifies and the more it, like I said, tattoos inside your being, the more it becomes a part of who you are. And when it is a part of who you are, it's what you want to, it's how you've changed. And this is the, the message that you want to share is that, wow, I found this amazing practice. I found the way, you know, the, and the way um, to manage life and to walk through life with confidence, with ease, with clarity. So I was very called to do that through, through my teaching. It's a beautiful um, setting. It's healing. It's a sanctuary. It's beautiful. My family used to joke with me when my boys were still, when they said when I came back from yoga, I used to float in. I just was all calm and they would say namaste and, you know, really try and tease me. But they saw how much I gained from my yoga practice. As soon as you come in, it's yoga and you just feel so uplifted and, and happy. Yeah. Yes, there's always such a wonderful atmosphere here. After the December break, when you come back in January, you feel this is home and this is where I find my calm and yes. myself. Yeah. Yes. It's, it's really changed my life for the better. It's given me a lot of inner peace and clarity and um, yeah, a lot of beauty. There's so much beauty in my life. Life is not perfect, but it's beautiful. is the most magical center. We have been blessed over the years with so many visiting 
gurus and swamis from all around the world who have really infused the center in the space with a phenomenal energy, a very high vibration. So to keep the vibration high is to keep the yoga. We haven't veered from the yoga and um, so it will always be a center of yogic practice. We do the original yoga. Um, when I say original, we, we practice yoga in a traditional, authentic way, where one practices asana and we hold it, we breathe into it. Later on, we practice um, pranayama, which is very, very balancing for the whole nervous system. Um, we do meditation. We offer the philosophy of yoga as well. There was a group of us that uh, started a group uh, studying Buddhism and it was uh, really, really nice because we uh, met at Mark and his wife's house and we would have dinner together and we would uh, discuss the topic for the week. We've moved our group into Ishta from those home study sessions and it's just an amazing, uh, it was an experiment for us because we didn't know how that was going to go, if it was going to work. We had this very really close-knit group, but we decided as a group that we would expand our awareness, expand our knowledge to offer it to everybody else, and Ishta was the perfect platform. And running our little sessions every Wednesday night was, was a perfect match, and we are so beautifully supported by Wendy and Angela in these evenings. Um, they're just so kind to us, and we have, the, we have like the best sessions together, um, and, and, the, and the community is growing, the Buddhist community is growing. There's kundalini yoga, there's kundalini pregnancy yoga, we have yin yoga, restorative yoga, we offer children's yoga. We also offer um, a wonderful relaxation, yoga nidra and sound healing class here. We offer ashtanga yoga. Uh, well, I'm married to one of the teachers. <laughs> yeah, it's great. It, there's a lot of yoga and health around the house, we eat well, we, we physical, so it's good, yeah. And it's and yoga and having this studio here is, is amazing. Yeah. Om Namo Gurine Namo teaching here for almost 20 years and I came across uh, first of all I did yoga just normal Ishta Hatha yoga and then I came across Kundalini yoga and I found that with the pregnancy Kundalini yoga it just is so much richer um, with the chanting and the movements that you do over and over again like you saw in the class and what that does is it helps the nervous system to relax uh, so it's great and the babies absolutely love it. I've had many women come and they say, you know, I'm not sure about this chanting thing, but my baby loves it, so I'm back. This is my second pregnancy. Um, I did do yoga in my first as well. Um, I find that yoga helps you physically to stay physically agile, but also very much so mentally um, with the breathing, the meditation. You need that mental strength both pre-baby and post-baby and during delivery and um, for me it's it's my secret weapon. Ishta is a word that means individual so really that's the um, that's the goal here at Ishta that every individual will find a home find a place to practice their 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 yoga which they hopefully will love. Basically it makes us happy and if we are happy the immune system is perfect. If we are happy, nobody can hurt us and all we can do is share. We do it on an unconscious level. We share our own inner joy. So if yoga can do that, why not practice it?